Hello everyone, so for today's tutorial I decided to review the Morphe brush collection and the Volt collection. Um, I gave like my honest review about the brushes and about the one palette that I used because I didn't use the whole Volt collection, I just used um, the Bling Boss uh, palette. So I gave my review on this, um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. Alright, so I have here the Jaclyn Hill Volt collection. Um, it's actually a really really nice packaging. Um, I love that it has like this like white and silver um, Sort of theme to it, um, but she did mention in like a video of hers That this is like the whole theme of her product line using like the white and silver um, And then this is what the side looks like and then on this side you have all of the names And then on this side it just has Morphe times Jaclyn Hill um, and then it comes with this like little string that when you pull it out, it takes out all of the um, palettes. So like you pull it and then they come out. Okay, so the palettes here are um, four different palettes. One of them is called Bling Boss. The other one is Ring the Alarm. The third one, Armed and Gorgeous. And then the last is Dark and Magic. Or Dark Magic, sorry. Um, these aren't in order. I just misplaced them out of order. So the first palette is dark magic um and this is what the palette looks like um and i really really like that each palette has like this mirror at the top um i think that was like a really good thing to do um now this palette has had like a lot of controversy from what i can tell from like other youtubers and just people in general that buy this palette because um this palette has like a lot of like dark shades and so basically they say that these shades don't blend out as nicely as um they're supposed to so i'm actually really really nervous for this collection this is bling boss um these are more purpley shadows um the palette looks like this um i think this is the palette that i'm going to use today because i really really like these colors um so i want to use them the next palette i'll show you is ring the alarm these are like orangey shades um and neutral shades and then like you have like four shimmer shades in this i think that it's a really really um pretty palette um i really like this color right here and then the last palette is armed and gorgeous um palette looks like this the palette looks like this I feel like this palette screams fall like I don't know when I see like this combination of colors like I just I just think of fall so I'll probably be using this a lot and then I really like this shimmer shade right there it's like a really really nice bright white shimmer shade I feel like this shade would be like really really good for like a brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight okay so like I said um, I'm gonna be going in with this palette I'm now gonna show you um, the brush collection this is the case that it comes in this is so freaking pretty i love it so much um and then right here like it says morphe on it it's like a little bit heavy but it's nothing bad like i'd rather it be heavy and for it to protect my brushes than for it to be flimsy and for it to break on me easily and stuff you know um so yeah i always have issues opening this but so when you open it it goes like this and then the I still have my brushes and the pack and the packaging came in, so I'll just take them out. Um, but yeah, so this is um, what it comes in. Um, this is so spacious. So this I actually already used. Um, yesterday was my goddaughter's um, quinceanera, and I did her makeup, and I needed something to take my brushes in because I don't have anything at all. Like all I have my brushes in are candle holders, and then I didn't want to have to carry that. Um, so yeah, so I decided to use this and I actually got it really, really dirty. So that's one downside to this is that like if you have a brush in here that has like um, product residue like concealer or bronzer or shadow or something, it's going to get in this. Um, so yeah, it looked really, really messy. I hope at some point I'd stop caring that it's dirty because... Yesterday I got a little like frustrated and I was trying to clean it. Um, I did a pretty good job of cleaning it. It was a lot worse. Um, but yeah, so just know that if you put your brushes in here um, and they have residue on them, they are going to get dirty. Um, this is going to get dirty. Um, the material of it makes it pretty easy to clean. But there was like a few things I just couldn't get out. Um, but that's okay. So yeah, like I said, I hope at some point I just face the fact that it's never going to be this clean and it's going to be dirty but yeah 
Um, now the brushes. So these are um, some of the eye brushes. Um, I, for some reason, they like packaged it in like three different little <clears throat> packets. I'm not sure why. I think this is what it would have been if like you just just got the eye collection, and then this is just like the face collection sold separately um and then these are the brushes that you would get if you bought the whole bundle like the additional brushes that come with the bundle that the individual ones don't um these are a lot of brushes i don't think i'll go through all of them um probably just the ones that i'll be using in the video um i know that a lot of these brushes are repeat brushes this brush right here i couldn't remember really well that is like the morphe m439 foundation brush so she did say that a lot of her brushes or a few of her brushes were like the same as previous brushes that morphe already had the only difference is that you know the packaging and that it's her um initials on the brushes and stuff like that okay so i had started um doing this eye right here um i was using hush hush um i was gonna do one eye on camera and then the other eye off camera um, so I was just gonna do one eye and then film me doing my other eye with you guys But then I realized like I wanted to capture like my first impression like I wanted um, My first impression to be caught on camera as to how I feel about that shadow um, So that's why I'm just gonna um, blend um, some more so I went in with hush hush and then I was using this um, JH30 brush now I'm going in with the JH32 brush and I'm going in with the same shade Hush Hush and I'm just like blending it out a little bit more. Um, the only thing I can tell from this shade right now is that it's, I feel like it's a little bit different than what it shows to be on the palette. Like on the palette it looks a lot more um, rosy um, and then on my eyelid it definitely looks a lot more purple. Um, but yeah, maybe that's just how it is. This shade actually blended out pretty well. Doesn't look patchy. Um, there's no like blotched areas of shadow. So I think this shadow is good so far. So I'm going to be taking the same brush, the JH32 um, brush. And then now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Um, it's called Sparks. And then I'm going to go back in with the JH30 brush and then like blend um, everything out some more with the previous shade that I had on this brush. Okay, now I'm going to be switching brushes. I'm going to go in with the Morphe JH34 brush. Um, this is a blending brush, um, but I like that it's a little bit more pointed. So when I go in with the shade Sparks again, I feel like I'll really be able to deepen up my crease a little bit more with this shade. I'm going to go in with the JH30 again. And I'm going to go back in with Hush Hush and then I'm going to blend these colors out some more. Now, using this same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Rockstar. And I'm going to apply it in my crease. Okay, wait a minute. For a second, I thought it wasn't blending, but we're good. I think we're good. Like I said, they just take a little bit of work.
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this JH31 brush. It's a little bit pointier and a lot more denser um, than the previous brush I was using. Um, and then I'm going to go in with that shade again, um, Rockstar, and deepen up my crease even more. This is like really unnecessary. Like I said, I just wanna see how each brush blends um, and how the shadow applies with that brush. I'm gonna go in with this um, JH36 brush. I'm gonna dip into Hush Hush and like a dab of Sparks. And I'm gonna blend this part out um, because I just want for everything to look really blended out and like for it to be like a seamless transition from one shade to the next. Okay, so now my final shade that I'm going to be taking is this shade called Mystic, um, and I'm going in with the JH35, um, and I'm going to apply it just on my outer corner. Now I'm going to do a half cut crease because I want to be able to use all of the shimmer shades or at least a majority of them and so I'll just do like a gradient um, shadow of uh, shimmers on my half cut crease. Um, the only thing about this collection that I wish you would have added was a concealer brush. Um, literally my ride or die concealer brush right now is this wet and wild concealer brush because it's like the perfect size um, and the perfect shape. So this is literally the only concealer brush that I've been using. Um, so I wish that would have been added in the collection. That would have been really nice. So yeah. Taking the concealer and I'm going to do a half cut crease. Okay, so now that I have my um, cut crease down, I'm going to be taking this JH for one brush this is the only brush that I see in the collection that I can use as like a flat shader brush so I'm gonna be using this brush right here um, and the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is a uh, bling bling so this brush does not pick up that shadow really well at all yeah no there, there's like nothing on my brush right now Okay, let me try with another brush. Um, okay, so I'll go in with this BH Cosmetics flat shader brush. This is usually the other brush I usually will use for this kind of um, a look. So I did that right about like the inner portion of my eye. Now um, I'm going to drag it out just like a little bit more. And then I'm going to take the shade Glitz and Glam with the same brush and I am going to apply it like over that last shade that I used but then drag it out some more. Then I'm going to take the shade Ballsy, do the same thing. And then lastly, I'm going to take this shade right here. Um, I'm, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It starts with pizza and ends with two Z's. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because, yeah. I actually really, really like this shimmer shade, like a lot more than the rest of them. And this shimmer shade is the one that by far has applied the best compared to the rest of them. The best, hands down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in reverse motion. So now I'm going back in with um, Ballsy. Then a little bit of Glitz and Glam. And then finish off with Bling Bling again. Um, and now I'm going to go in with um, the JH32 with no extra product. I just want to blend out my crease a little bit more. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the last shimmer shade. It's called Berry Treasure. Um, and I'm going to apply it in the outer corner of my eye. This is going to act as if like it was just like a regular dark shadow. And I'm using it to like smoke out the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so this is a lot darker than I had anticipated. A lot darker. Um... Okay, so it blended out pretty pretty well, um, but I lost a little bit of that other shade that I had said I really liked, the Piaz, Piazzi, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna go back in with that shade again and try to like bring it back. So I think the best way to pick up product with these um, shadows is to like rub the brush on it um and then that picks up a lot more product than if you were to just I don't know scoop it up or something um now I'm gonna go in with the clean uh, flat shader brush and I'm just gonna like blend everything out so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and then I'll come back and then finish the rest of my eye makeup and wow. all right so as you can tell um i finished my other eye and then i applied some falsies i used the coco lashes um in the style nine to five these have literally been like my favorite um lashes ever um now i'm gonna be moving on to my um face so for primer i'm gonna be using my uh Too faced hangover primer like i always do um so, um so ulta has like a sale for the month of september um and today they have a sale for this primer that like um, it's like half off or something like that so like normally I don't even know how much it costs I think it's like $32 um, so like right now I can go get it for $17 so you already know your girl is in there I'm gonna go there like right after doing my makeup um, but yeah, okay, so I did that. Um, now I, I want to try a new foundation. So it's not like actually like a new foundation. I mean, it is, but to me. Um, and I got a sample of it. So I got a sample of this foundation because I did not know if I would like it or not because it's matte. And um, I have dry skin um, and I don't know how matte foundations work with me. So this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. Um, this is in the shade Y405. This honestly probably isn't my shade anymore because I was like a little bit tanner when I got this sample. But I'll make it work. Um, but yeah, um, I was considering buying this foundation because I just wanted a new foundation. It was either this or the... Um, too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'll probably end up going with that one. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try this out. Um, this is very, very thick consistency. Like, very thick. It's not runny whatsoever. Like, this is a foundation. I literally can go like that and it's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to apply this. Ugh, I don't know if I like this. It's so weird. I don't know it like feels weird so yeah I'm just gonna go in with the sponge um, a little nervous right now this shit is coverage like this is covering up everything This foundation was like such good coverage. This is really white, like hella white. So this is a little bit too, too bright. So I'm gonna go in with my other shade. I have so much concealer on my face right now. Okay. 
I'm quickly going to set my under eye area with my Kat Von D translucent powder. I actually want to try a new translucent powder too. Like there's so many like new things I want to try because I always use like the same thing over and over again. But you know what they say, if it's not broken, don't try to fix it. But like, I just want to try something new, you know? I'm gonna blend out this other side. I'm gonna go in with this JH07 brush. So I really like this brush. Um, I think that it's the perfect combination of fluffy and dense. Now I'm going to um, smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm going to go in with this pencil brush. It's the JH39 brush. So I'm going to take like this little tiny like um, brush right here and I'm going to go in with the shade Bling Bling. This is literally like my favorite brush ever. I don't, it's going to sound ridiculous. But this is the JH42 brush. It's like a teeny tiny little like flat shader brush. And I'm ex so excited for this brush because I love brushes that I can use. Um, for my brow bone highlight that make my life easier. So there's this brush. This is the JH04. I think originally she made this brush for blush, um, which I definitely think you can use for blush. But for some reason, because of how fluffy it is, but yet dense at the same time, I feel like this would be like a really good contour uh, brush. And I feel like it would also be really good for um, like blending out cream contour. So I kind of want to use it for that more than for blush because for blush, she also um, gave us this other brush. It's the JH06 brush, which I think would be good for me for blush because I feel like this would apply like a very, very light layer of blush. And since I don't really like blush, um, I think that this would do like the job. She gave us this like really, really big um, contour brush. This is the JH02. I have the smaller version of, of this brush, I feel. Um, this is the M523, and then there's a bigger version of it, which is this. So this is the same brush that already exists. It's just her packaging. Um, I have the smaller version, and I really like it. This would be good for like when you want like a messy, bronzy kind of look, um, which is actually what I'm going for today. So I'm taking this brush, and I'm like, swerving it around my uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Tapping off an excess amount and I'm gonna blend out. I'm taking the other brush and I'm gonna like blend it out a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild um, blush in the shade Mellow Wine. I'm taking that uh, brush I was showing you all uh, earlier and I'm just going to feather this on. See, this is perfect. Like this just gave me like the perfect amount of blush. I got my Ipsy back for August um, and so I wanna try a new highlight. This is the Ciat London Glow 2 Highlighter. I don't know how to pronounce that. First, I forgot, I'm gonna set my face. I'm not sure if this has a shade. Oh. Yeah, this is in the shade Moondust. Um, it looks like this. So I have to buy like a Z palette um, and put this shade in there. This is very powdery. 
I do not like that. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be going in with this um, Morphe Matte Lipstick in the shade Wifey. Let's see. I also really like this lipstick. Um, the formula is so creamy and it's so soft on the lips and like despite the fact that this is a matte lipstick, it feels so comfortable on the lips. Now I'm going to apply my bottom lash mascara and then I'll pretty much be done. All right, everyone, this is pretty much it for the tutorial. So now my thoughts. Okay, so the palette. I'm not gonna speak about the Volt collection itself. I'm gonna speak about that specific palette that I used. Um, at first, I, I thought that the um, like the colors weren't blending out that well. I thought that um, like maybe they weren't as good as people were saying. Um, but then I started like blending it out a little bit more, like actually taking the time to blend it out. Um, and it did start blending out and it started looking a lot better. So I think that these shadows, like they're not as easy to blend as maybe like other Morphe shadows would be. I think that these specific shadows maybe take like a little bit more time. Um, and a little bit more effort so that they look nice, but um, in the end result like I really like how my eyeshadow came out now in terms of the brushes all the brushes were freaking amazing I love love the brush collection. It is so nice um, And then like my favorite thing about the whole collection is this like this is freaking amazing I love that it's glittery like it's so girly um, And I just I just freaking love it. I love it I love it so much. If you were looking to buy the Bling Boss palette, like at um, Ulta or something, then yeah, I would recommend you get this palette. Um, but I'm not going to speak about the collection itself yet because I don't know how the other shades apply. Um, would I recommend the brushes? Hell yes. They are freaking amazing. The packaging is so nice. This thing is amazing. Um, and I know that let the retail price for it is $165. But if you use like any Morphe code, like Jack Attack or something like that, um, it came down to, I think it was like $145. So you save a good amount of money. So don't think of it as I'm going to spend $165 because you get free shipping and then with the code you get a discount. So it comes out to be like $145, something like that with tax. So I think it's worth it. I think you should get them. I think that it'll be worth your money. But yeah, this is pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe if you do. Thank you guys so much for watching.